Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday review of Chris from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris, and you know I love B Movies, and it's theme week. My type of theme week. This is ridiculous, unusual, killer theme week. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. This is my specialty. This is the stuff I love. So I decided to go with a film from 2005 from Charles One Man Band. The film is called The Ginger Dead Man. And yes, it's a killer gingerbread cookie with the voice of Gary Busey. Now what's better than that, huh? You said nothing? You're right. <laughs> you get the golden ticket, Charlie. <laughs> so it starts off with acclaimed serial killer, Millard Findelmaya, played by Gary Busey, shooting up a diner, killing waitresses and what have you. And then you meet up with Sarah, who's at that diner with her father and brother. She's really close-knit with her brother. So the father gets up and is like, I'm going to go attack him, which is really stupid. Because the guy has a gun. He's going after him with a knife. He's like, I'm going to get you. Totally telegraphing the entire thing. And of course, he gets shot and killed. Now, the brother gets up and tries to make peace with the killer and saying, hey, just calm it down. Just relax. Let's just talk this through. And so <laughs> Miller Findomaya says, oh, oh, yeah, you're trying to talk me down, huh? <laughs> well, I'm going to put my gun down. He said, make a move. And so he gets a knife. It's apparently a family that carries knives with them. And he, he goes after Millard, and Millard just pops him and shoots him and kills him, too. So, of course, Sarah is so distraught. Now she lost her brother and her father, and she's kind of standing here like this, and he's like, I don't want to kill you, but I can't let Mama down. Mama always told me to finish the job. And he shoots her, but he doesn't kill her. So, it goes many years later, and she shows up at her bakery. It was like a family bakery the father and mother owned. Now the mother's an alcoholic, um, completely just non-caring and what have you, just miserable. And Sarah's basically running the joint with some of her friends, one of who is a local pro wrestler. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> hysterical. The Butcher Baker. <laughs> yeah, this is great. He, he, he plays a pertinent part later on in the film when he goes head-to-head -head with the Ginger Dead Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, um, they receive this package from this mysterious person in a long jacket and a long hat. Basically, Millard Findermeyer's, Findermeyer's mother. <laughs> if you didn't get that by watching the film. And um, she gives a package and they open it up and it's cookie flour to make cookie dough. <laughs> but a special type of cookie flour. Special gingerbread mix. Of course. <laughs> So they, they're making the dough up, they're pounding it up, and all of a sudden you see it pulsing while it's uh, cooking up. You see it pulsing so you know that this <laughs> dough has life to it. <laughs> so they put it in this heater, and uh, Sarah meets up with uh, her nemesis, this just annoying girl called Warna Dean who her father's like, has the prettiest face in town, wins the prettiest face contest every year. So she shows up and puts a rat in her bakery, and Sarah's not having it, so they're going at it, and they're fighting. All of a sudden, they bump into a mach the machine, they bump into the heater, and all of a sudden, psh, psh, lightning strikes, and psh, it gets into this heater with the gingerbread cookies being made. And then all of a sudden, who comes up? <laughs> But the ginger dead man played by Gary Busey. Oh, yeah. Apparently his soul was within the dough. And when they made the cookies and did their little cutouts and put it in the heater and enough electricity hits it, <laughs> he comes alive as the ginger dead man. Oh, yeah. And basically, well, he goes back to his killing spree as a gingerbread cookie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely friggin' hysterical. Uh, Lorna Dean, obnoxious as hell, plays that annoying girl that you just want to see killed. And then, spoiler here, she gets her comeuppance. And then her father, who owns the bakery across, uh, is intent on putting Sarah and her mother out of business because he's like, it's going to be the best eatery in town. And he offers her a big amount of money for her to, to just close the business down so that way he has no competition. Or as he say, I want my cousins looking at some old bakery. <laughs> He's obnoxious. And of course, <laughs> he, he gets the gingerbread man treatment. 
Oh yeah, he gets some ginger dead man treatment. <laughs> that scene is hysterical. I'm gonna give you another spoiler. I think most of you have seen this one before, but <laughs> ginger dead man just basically runs him over with the car. It's freaking hysterical. That scene is absolutely hysterical. Uh, I gotta say that a lot of the one-liners that the ginger dead man has is hysterical because he looks so cute. <laughs> Seriously, this character that Child's One Man Band put together is so adorable. And with Gary Busey's voice. <laughs> That you can't get mad at him. You actually stop the roof for him uh, a good portion through the film. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a killer ginger, ginger dead uh, or gingerbread cookie. Call the ginger dead man. <laughs> and with, Gary's Busey's, with Gary Busey's voice, you just can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's a great film. It's hysterical. It's meant to be funny, and it is. Um, a lot of the characters are totally obnoxious, and you, you really hope they get killed, basically. Um, Jimmy Dean actually plays the father who owns a restaurant across, and that, that name in itself is hysterical, and he's, he's a real jerk-off. <laughs> um, and then, you know, she meets a love interest in some, some street kid who, um, you know, kind of falls for her too, and they had a little incident happen when she was a kid at her birthday party where he went to kiss her and she punched him in the mouth, and... <laughs> He didn't really remember that, but, uh... <laughs> so there's a love interest there, and basically he helps her to kill the ginger dead man. Well, like I say, hysterical film. Really good kills in this film, really fun kills. Um, thrilled jerk-offs they want to see get killed, they get their come up in, so... There you go. <laughs> and like I say, it has a cool ending, and has a lead-off to more sequels, which there was two more. And then there was Evil Bong versus the ginger dead man as well. So... So there you go. But if you like Charles Band films, you're definitely going to love The Ginger Dead Man. I give this a 98. I enjoyed this film to death. It never overwhelmed its stay. It's only 71 minutes. Um, and it flows really well. And it's just a lot of fun, you know. Um, you know, you can't go wrong, man, with a film like this, man. It's just a fun film. You know, it's not you know, Academy Award nominated film, but it's a film you can have fun with, enjoy, laugh, get some friends together, have some colas, have a good time, and laugh your butts off, because this is what this movie is made for, baby. You know, the acting isn't always the best. I think Gary Busey's the best actor in the film, and he plays a killer ginger dead man. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, check it out. I enjoyed the hell out of this film. I love this film. I also love the sequels a lot. Um, and like I say, suspend your disbelief. Go into this just having a ball, and you'll have fun with it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So again, this is a killer theme week so far, man. Everybody's doing a killer job, and um, there's more to come. Mikey Fish, the man who came up with this awesome idea, is going to do a ridiculously unusual killer film tomorrow. So check that out. Check out all the other reviewers, because they kick butt, and they're passionate about films just like we are, man. All right. And don't forget to enjoy those late-night horror movies. Put on your latest... Fright rags. I got pieces going on here. But don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we love to call Body Bags. And uh, like I say, man, if you eat them gingerbread cookies, <laughs> be very careful. <laughs> May have blood and flesh in them. <laughs> and if that has the voice of Gary Busey, run. Run really fast. <laughs> Later, guys. See you next Thursday.